Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people to freely assemble and petition the government for a redress of their grievances. It's the First Amendment. It's all that matters. Folks, welcome to another edition of the Rick Castellano Show. Something smells terrible here. <laughs> oh, what is this? A purple scarf? Look at it. I didn't contribute any money to James Alessi's campaign. Listen, I think the guy's an insect and I despise him. So tonight, we're going to talk about how we're going to get you out of office. James Alessi. 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 I'm sorry I do it to you, Mr. Alessi, <laughs> but I despise you. And I, don't even, I don't even care what your name is. You're an insect. Let me have a little swig here because Castellano is ready to roll, baby. Folks, we did a few shows about this. Insect with the... 30 cent haircut. I don't know. All the brill cream in the world couldn't glue their head together. It's one of the ugliest men I've ever seen. Kiss Lana, aren't you getting a little raw? Aren't you just picking on the guy's looks? All right. I'm sorry I'm acting like a Democrat. All right. I can't even say that I saw him in like a concert with a transvestite or anything like that. No, can't say that. All right. Facts. Only facts. It may have been a transvestite, but anyway, he's not a concert tour there. I don't know, Tony Bennett, whatever. Listen, Tony Bennett, last name Benedetto. Like, I, again, I said, no relation to Corey Benedetto. Uh, loves Lady Kaka, the worst. Loves the gay thing, loves the gay thing. Well, if I really held the Italian tradition up close to my heart, Tony Benedetto and James Alisi, you wouldn't be in any of my list. Folks, why is Castellano so angry? Well, it couldn't be that uh, James Alisi, a little known... Uh, uh, Democrat. <laughs> Democrat. I was, yeah, I'd like to say Democrat. It wouldn't feel so bad. Republican. Um, little known until he did the tragic detail of Turn into a turncoat. Benedict Alisi. What did he do? Folks, as a Republican, you're conservative. Gay marriage is a no-no. Now, should you be hateful? And should you go out and beat up gay people? No, that's not what that's all about. Don't try to change the... Uh, that's for you, Alisi. Don't try to change my agenda. Castellano doesn't hate gay people. Castellano doesn't like people to try to we got people donating money to Alisi from London England because they want to push their agenda with a New York senator and what happened Mr. Alisi he had about four thousand dollars four measly thousand dollars here you're useless as usual useless oh let me give you some facts folks I was going to just go on a rant Ray but I'm going to throw some facts in here or there let you know Castellano knows what I'm talking about. First off, Lisi of Parrington raised $454,905 from donors far and wide since mid-July. More than all his Senate peers. Why? Well, many budget cuts? No. Um, job creation? 
Absolutely not. Oh, wait a minute here. Was he a hero? Well, if you call going to your neighbor's backyard, probably peeping in the windows like a peeping Tom. <laughs> now I know, you know, think about it. <laughs> People with the uh, sexual orientations and a little screwed up. It passes down from generation to generation. It came out of the closet. I don't know what you're doing. Peeping in windows. I don't know what you're peeping about, but you get caught peeping in your neighbor's window. And what do you do? When you're not invited, you fall and get hurt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what does Mr. Alisi decide to do? I'm sorry. I just, you know, I made a mistake. I was just trying to see how your house was coming. No, you tried to sue the people. You peeked in their window. When they weren't there, and they're building a house. You weren't supposed to be there. They didn't invite you there. They don't want you there, you loser. And what'd you do? You tried to sue them. You're an insect. Excuse me a second. Let me get this bad taste out of my mouth. You go in somebody else's yard, and what do you do? You peep in there and try to pry, and then you get hurt because of your stumble bum oaf that you are, and you want to sue him. But you got caught, Mr. Elise. and what happened? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Everybody hated you because you, they despise the kind of crook you are. I don't know what you're doing, peeping Tom or, or peeping Benedict Arnold or whoever you are, but anyways, people started to despise you. What'd you do? Well, who would like me, I'd say? Perverts? Are you saying homosexuals are perverts? No, I'm just saying who would like them? What'd you do? Nobody wanted to give you a nickel. I wouldn't give you a nickel. I'd spit on you. But instead, you know what? Let's see. People across the country handily, handily voted down gay marriage Time and again, even in the most liberal states, California and New York, we didn't get a chance to vote on it this time, did we, Mr. Uh, uh, Alisi? Uh, you and your cohorts with ball gags and mouths and champ leather chaps on, dancing in a gay parade, nipple rings, you, Duffy, and Blomo, <laughs> all dancing around, I don't know, around a mulberry bush. Uh, and... Your little tooty fruity friend there, Mayor Bloomberg. And what do you do? I'm a Republican. People despise you, Bloomberg. What'd you do? I'm independent. Why? Well, I would have never gotten an office if I was an independent or if I was a Democrat. I got in office, people voted me in because they were gonna get it, thought they were going to get another Rudy Giuliani. Little they know they're going to get an insect like you. Bloomberg, all your millions can't make you a good guy. You stink. Just like El Stinko himself, Elise. Uh, oh, wait, did I mention the title of this show? James Elise, you stink. And believe me, when I mean stink, I mean stink because it smells from here to high heaven. And you'll, I don't think you're going to heaven, buddy. I, I hope you change your ways, but I don't think you're going there, buddy. Okay? Fruit pie the magician, you and all your boys. Here's where you're going. Let's see. I'm unpopular. I have no ideas. I have no talent. I'm a shady city slicker. I put brill cream in my hair. I slick it back because I'm one of those slick, slick senator types that just business as usual, corrupt. Are you saying it's corrupt? Well, <laughs> facts, facts, not fiction. What'd you do? Unpopular. You tried to sue people before your misgivings. And people didn't, let's just put it this way, you're a loser. A loser! So, what am I going to do? Come election time next time, I don't know, some Democrats probably going to beat me. You know, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'll tell you what. Folks, let's think about this over the commercial break. We'll come back, and I'll tell you what you did. You loser! You insect! You, James Alessi. You stink! We're back and I'm 
fighting mad, folks. We only begun to fight Castellano and the rest of you conservatives. Excuse me a second here. I don't need any courage. I just want to wipe the bad taste out of my mouth. I know I said it several times, but every time I talk about you, I have a bad taste in my mouth. Like you probably did. Watch your turn for the gay vote. Speaking of bad taste, great granny, thanks for your diet, ginger ale, because it's going to clear my palate of you, you insect. Anyway, let's get back to the facts, Castellano. 454905 dollars from donors far and wide since mid-July, more than all of your Senate peers. According to campaign analysis of campaign finance filings as of Wednesday by the New York Public Interest Research Group, many state legislators raise campaign funds outside the district, but perhaps not as much as Elise has in the last six months. Just $22,150, or 6.5% of the $341,463 in itemized individual do donations he received came from the greater Rochester area. Folks, this is when the going gets good. You think I'm just sprouting out hate? Al Alisi has set his support for gay marriage announced in June is important to other Republicans to see. Why? So they can be turncoats like you? Folks, if James Alisi was a Democrat, I'd have no problem with him. But as a Republican, as a conservative, what you do for, you stand for family values. That's why you get voted in office. You stand for lower taxes. You stand for abortion, not, not you know, a la carte. Like the like the Democrats, like the like the Obama could have with anybody. Hey, well, what your baby's like going to be born in two days? You got a headache? Oh, let's abort it. Yeah, it's that it's that bad. I don't care. I'm not going to get into it now. But Obama is the worst of all the senators when he was a senator for abortion. <laughs> As you go, because he didn't want to. One time, if a baby was survived the abortion, don't help him. Because you might change Roe versus Wade. I, my daughters, the, the pigs, they're probably going to... All right, don't leave the kids out of it. Oh, my daughters, you know, like, um, watch Modern Family and stuff. They probably grow up to be nice sweethearts, like, like their mother. Um, if, they, if they make a mistake, they can't ruin their whole life. Well, Obama, birth control. Teach them birth control. Hey, well, God forbid they should be responsible for their own actions. But anyways... They shouldn't have to pay for it the rest of their lives. Okay. The baby doesn't get the chance to pay for it the rest of their lives. The baby never gets a chance to have a life. But anyways, we'll go back to Lisi. Lisi said his support for gay marriage announced in June. I'm repeating myself, but I'm getting to the meat of this. It's important for other Republicans to see, noted it. Some of his donations came from other left-minded Republicans. Who? Ex-Republican uh, Bloomberg, who, uh, let's see, uh, Skazafava, she's not there anymore, who, Olympia Snow, who, no, the, the usual suspects, if you're really a Republican and people we vote you in office is to stop this, don't say, well, you know, this is year 2012, eventually things are going to change. We vote you into office so they don't change. Otherwise, you don't get in. We put somebody else there that puts the vote there. Castle, are you being harsh? Yeah, I'm being harsh because I got to see gay pride walking out with purple shirts down Park Avenue saying we won and we're taking over. Then say, hey, uh, kumbaya, let's everybody, can't we all get on? No, I got shirts walking down dykes that look scary. Smelly, diseased, ugly, smelly dykes. Lesbians aren't good looking like the old days. Like you see, <laughs> like they glamorize them in the 70s. Yeah, Folks, you guys can think about it all you want. You know what lesbians look like? Rosie O'Donnell. Ellen. Uh, Chaz. <laughs> Chaz Bono. The list goes on. Do you, you know what? The only reason these girls or insects or whatever you want to call them get anybody is because they got the loot. Because 
women sleep with smelly guys too. But the same thing. Oh, well, I'm a beautiful girl and I'm going to be with Rosie O'Donnell. The girl smells out of the shower. Do you ever see the way she looks? She never looks clean. Believe me. The last time I, 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 I even thought that she was even funny when she acted like Bar, uh, Betty Rubble. And it was a long time ago. But anyway, don't push your agenda on us. We're in reality, you're a Republican, you're conservative, you're against gay marriage. You're a Democrat, you love it. You want to dance with like nipple rings and stuff like that and ball gags in your mouth and leather chaps and slap each other on, you know, and, and ride and walk around in the gay parades half naked and stuff like that and do all kinds of crazy stuff like they do in San Francisco <laughs> that most of us, most of us don't. You know what, folks? Let me get back to facts. California, one of the most liberal states in the country, voted against it handily in the last election. New York voted against it handily, and your buddy Cuomo and the usual suspects got the vote because of you, Elise, you are an insect. I despise you, and I'm going to finish up with more facts, and then I'm going to get to the end of the story because I just, you're despicable, despicable Elise. Okay. The conservative party, the conservative party is something you know little about. All right. Wait, I'm getting out of myself. Noted some of his donations came from other left-minded Republicans. He said that he is planning to run again despite potential opposition in his own party. Can you imagine that? Republicans stand against this stuff. The opposition. Those evil guys, why are they betraying me? You betrayed us! The conservative party said it will not support him. Will not support you. I won't support you, and I want you, the people, not to support this guy. He is a he's a hypocrite. He is a money grubbing. Everything we hate in in senators and congressmen, you're it. Uh will not support him in in which is seen as a key endorsement for Republicans in New York, though Elise has not always had it. Alluding to Senate GOP's two-seat edge over Democrats, why do we have two-seat edge? Because people are starting to wake up. Most of you people are conservative. You're right of center, okay? Not everybody is real, real conservative, but they're right of center. Not like this! Lisi said Wednesday that running a primary when a majority is so thin, I think would be a very dangerous thing. Yeah, very dangerous to you. You know why? Because you wouldn't win. Go become a, uh, an independent. Go become a Democrat. You'll lose handily. We don't want you. You're a traitor. Am I calling you a traitor? Yes. Am I calling you a scumbag? Yes! A scumbag. I despise everything you stand for. What's a scumbag, Castellano? Well, I don't want to get to the literal terms, but let's just put it this way. You're a low life. And you know what? We have no respect. And all the people, all the money spent to get you elected the first time, I want it back. We want it back. You robbed us. Elise estimated that 60% of contributions he received in the last year came from people who supported his gay marriage vote. That's right. And those aren't the people that elected you. Among the 11 donors to contribute the maximum of 16,800 were well-known gay marriage supporters, including billionaire... Um, excuse me, I'm sorry. Let me, let me read this right. In, including billionaire Paul Singer and several of his family members, including one in London, England. Billionaire conservative businessman David Koch. Let's see. That's a lie. A billionaire conservative, David Koch. If he was conservative billionaire, he wouldn't support you. All right. Uh, and his wife, New York City hedge fund manager, Daniel Loeb. New York City Mayor Bloomberg, who ha hosted a fundraiser for Lisi, following the vote, donated 10300 Monroe County Republican Chairman Bill Relic said he has not seen had discussions with potential Republican challengers to Elise, and that is neither encouraging a primary nor a fighting one. I got the answer, folks. Castellano, 
doesn't want to get involved in politics because I'm not a politician as usual. But you know what? To get this guy out of, out of office, Castellano will run. You know what? I'm not even joking. To get this loser out, I'll run and I'll, I'll, I'll smear the floor with him because you know what? I stand up for truth, justice, in the American way, not the, uh, the Truman Capote way. Anyway, one last quote before I go. Folks, Black, white, Spanish, Hispanic, Asian. Um, here's what people of faith believe. I don't think you can buy a nomination, said the Reverend Jason McGuire of the New Yorkers for Constitu Constitutional Freedoms, which opposes gay marriage. McGuire doesn't have an issue with political donations, but said that donors should come from close to home. Governor Andrew Cuomo has proposed changing the thing. Did I mention that people all the way from London, England, are donating money to this James Lisey's re-election because they want to push their gay agenda? Folks, you heard the facts, now you vote on it. Castellano, you want Castellano to go in and you want to fight for you? I'm ready. You're watching the Rick Castellano Show. And folks, I care about you, the people, the majority. You know what? I, don't, I care about the minority too, but you're not going to ram your your views down my throat. I care about my views. You know what? You could stick your views, Mr. Elisi, and at 50 cent rug ears because you betrayed us. Benedict Elisi.